Hey YouTube new vlog, today there's some good stuff. Portraits, outdoor, at night, a model I haven't worked with for years and above all, a lightsaber. This is the video you're looking for. Remember the video with the RGB lights? Wasn't that fun? I promise you we'd test them again outdoors and well, now it is. But more, people from Godox, they send me this. How cool is that? Like the last time, it's not sponsored, they don't ask me for anything in exchange, but I got it for free. Yeah, I think they like me. And once again, it's not a technical review, there are a lot of brands that make this kind of light. I let you research for the best one, I don't know if it's this model, to be honest, I haven't even tested it yet, so... The goal is just to see how we can have fun, be creative with it, and what kind of image we can get. Oh, and if you're wondering if I'm gonna add the sound of a lightsaber every time I move this thing, the answer is yes every freaking time. Today we are going to work with Claire. You've probably already seen her if you follow me on Instagram. We've done a million photo projects together, she's even been in some of my short films. We hadn't been able to collaborate since I left for Australia, so it will be an opportunity to catch up. Of course, now that I'm back in France, a shooting preparation needs to be done with some food around. The advantage of working with someone you know so well and trust artistically is to be able to delegate certain creative aspects. I always later decide the makeup or the styling on this kind of photo shoot. I know in advance that you will take exactly the right outfits. Okay, the sun had just set, we can finally start. We're gonna have to warm up a little bit, for her and as well as for me. First image is in the middle of the street. The idea is to use the contrast between the cold tone of the night with this very dark blue and a very warm color, for example, pure red. I must admit that on this picture, it looks like the headlights of a car. The light is really very powerful. You will have to be careful to find the right intensity not to be too strong in the highlights. Here the idea was to put a little more material in the background, especially vegetal material, thanks to the trees, in parallel with the floral patterns of Claire's jacket. The second problem we'll have to deal with after its intensity is the position of the light. The environment is dark, and depending on where we place it, either too much underneath or too much on the side, we will see shadows appear, not always graceful, which will draw the face of the model in a not very aesthetic way. This is the problem of working with only one light source. Here I use one of the small lights from the last video to model the face and lighten up some parts. This kind of very colorful light reminds me of the aesthetic of some 80s movie and it's a bit the atmosphere I would like to recreate with this photo shoot. Of course we would have needed some props for that but we will stick to the visual. I would like something a little punk, a little grunge. The problem with today's camera is that they become a bit too powerful in low light and because I've done my job a bit too well we end up with sharp clean images with no grain. Even using a low ISO and fast shutter speed I still have light so and again, my lightsaber is really powerful. So it's mostly in post-production that I will try to recreate the look I'm looking for by adding quite a lot of grain first and sometimes by blurring very slightly the images that are too sharp. No need to switch to Photoshop for that. In Lightroom, you can use the local retouching tools and putting the sharpness in negative will add a little bit of blur. I also wanted to add a bit more texture, but for vlogs, I have a policy of limiting the post-production part to raw editing and color processing and avoiding effects. We're also going to try to add an urban environment to the scene to introduce a little more storytelling with the lights in the background, the silhouette that seems to follow her. A nice atmosphere, but I'm not a fan of the hand on the hip. Same here, the overall pose is good, but I shouldn't ask her to put her hand like that. I don't think it's very natural. I like the green light, but I don't really like it with the blue background. This picture is much more interesting, it's a real atmosphere, with a face half in the shadow, and the color blends much better with the background. I deliberately cropped this image, I think it has more impact like that, even if it cuts a hand, poor thing. The weather is starting to help us, we're getting a lot of wind, and as annoying as it is, here it gives a lot of style to her hair. Finally, the most interesting picture, I think, with all this texture generated by the reflection of the ground, we really have the aesthetic we were looking for. 
Okay, it's gear time for the little geek that you are. Today, I challenge myself to shoot entirely with the 50 millimeters. First, because it's a very bright lens, and second, honestly, just why not, actually? And then, as usual, the Sony a7 III. So, nothing new, but if I don't do it, you are like, hey, what's your camera? The problem is that I'm starting to get messages like, oh, I can't take nice pictures, I don't have the same camera. We really need to talk about this, you and me, and we will do it in a future video. But listen to me, gear doesn't matter. And I know when I say that, you think, I can't believe it. Nick, it's why you fail. You only need one thing, the force. In our case, you also need a photo light, lightsaber thing. That's true. New location. The goal here was to try to take advantage of the banister to create some leading lines. The problem here is that the light bounces around and the color has tinted the entire image rather than only certain areas. It's a little better here since we have other tints on our top, but the shadows and reflections on her face are not very aesthetic. I tried another color here and I think it's much better, not to mention that the uplifted hair also goes very well with Claire. And that's the advantage of the RGB lights. This one has all the options as the little ones we tested the last time. You can change the temperature to get a more natural look, use special effects or the use. And guess what? This time you have a remote to control everything. You can change the modes, the colors, blue, green, purple, red. It allows you to quickly test different colors depending on what you're looking for. That's what I did here, with different variations for this series, with a very fashion look, even streetwear, with her very white sweater. The goal is to try to find the colors that will contrast the most with the background, while creating an interesting harmony. Special mention for Claire's hair fighting against the wind. I think we've definitely lost control here. Finally, two last pictures I like with the light of the city, Lyon in the background. This is one of my favorites of the evening with the extremely graphic vibe, this gradient. <laughs> the last step of the photoshoot was to take advantage of this light to make long exposure pics. It's really the perfect tool for that. The long exposure is the fact of letting the minimum amount of light in to be able to expose as long as possible so you can play with motion blur effects. For example, we can create large light trails. Obviously, the difficulty is if there is a subject that needs to be in focus on the image. It will have to remain completely motionless during the capture. Not so easy when it's blowing like that. Her hair moves her sweater, Claire herself can barely keep still. Anyway, this is an epic fail. But hey, at least it allowed me to have fun doing that. We knew it wouldn't work tonight, so we didn't try for long. That's the problem. We shouldn't have tried it at all. We should have done it. Or shouldn't have done it. But... There is no try. At the same time, it gives us the opportunity to do it again for our next vlog. If you want me to dedicate one entirely to the long exposure, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments. Okay, my two favorite images from tonight's shoot. First, this one with a very ghostly aspect and then the reflection created with a small piece of glass. We really have a very special atmosphere. It doesn't even look like it was shoot outside. Finally, my favorite one, the one that corresponds the most to the aesthetics I was looking for. We have a real atmosphere, a lot of texture, yeah, it definitely tells something. Okay, time to end this vlog. Don't hesitate to send me some love by liking this video, to subscribe to the channel if you liked it, and don't forget that with each notification activated, the dark side is defeated a little more in the galaxy. And peace comes back. See you, Padawan. May the creation be with you. I'm one with the force, and the force is with me. You shall not pass, you little piece of shit! Ah!